Today, I'm going to be building your background knowledge for our short story, The Necklace, which we will be reading in class tomorrow. The story is set in a different time and a different country, so you need a little bit of extra background knowledge to make sure you understand all of the story components. The Necklace is set in Paris, France in the 1880s. If you look at the two pictures, these are two of the settings that you'll see in the story. The first is the Rue de Martyrs, which is the street that the characters live on. And the other one is the River Seine, which is a river that runs through Paris. In the late 1880s, the society in Paris had a very rigid social class structure. People would try to own material goods to make themselves look higher in society than they actually were. I think we would all agree that a lot of people in today's society still do the same thing. There were three main social classes at the time in Paris, France. The lower class had very little money and pretty much no education. They did not get to attend social events like dinners and parties, and they usually worked as servants or as laborers. They had to work hard, but they still had very little money. The next social class was the middle class. This was the working class. They had some money and they had some education, but they did not have high rank status. These are typically what we would consider white collar workers, store owners, clerks, government workers, etc. So they had some money, they had some fun, but they still had to work really hard. Lastly, there was the upper class. This is the rich and powerful who had a lot of money and a lot of education. As you can see in the picture, they got to wear the frilly dresses and the frilly outfits. They had the high social rank that they were born into, and they lived a life of luxury. These were the group of people that would throw very extravagant parties. They dressed very nicely. They didn't have to work very hard because they were born into their money. So a lot of people wanted to be them, but they were still a very exclusive group. There will be some references to money in the story. So the franc was France's monetary unit at the time. A louis was a small gold coin, as you can see in the picture. And just for reference, 500 francs at the time in the 1880s was about $103, and 36,000 francs is about $7,400. I'll remind you of these amounts when we read the story, but just to give you some perspective. Gender roles are going to play a huge part in the story when we read tomorrow. For women in the 1880s, the only way to improve your social status was through marriage. And marriage was more often a business agreement than a commitment of love. Women had what was called a dowry, which was a bride's family's gift to her future husband. And that dowry usually included money, land, expensive possessions, gold, uh, candlesticks, anything that was of value that the bride could offer to the husband. Again, hence the business agreement. At the time, men were only permitted to work or own property. Women in the lower classes often had to work and they usually worked as maids or servants. And of course, they, were had, they had to tend the house and raise the children. You will see a little bit of French uh, in the story. So these are just some uh, French words and abbreviations you need to be aware of. M, with a period after it, stands for Monsieur, which means Mr. M-M-E stands for Madame, which means Mrs. So a Monsieur would be married to a Madame. Mademoiselle, which is abbreviated M-L-L-E, is not really used so much in modern society, but it may meant Miss, someone who was not married. And you will see Rue means road. Last but not least, our author is Guy de Maupassant. He was a French author known for his short stories. He lived a very privileged life, but he had poor physical and mental health, so unfortunately he died at the age of 43. He is known for being a very pessimistic writer. Many of his characters have a strong material desire as well as lust, greed, and ambition. And because of that ambition, wanting to move up in social class, they often suffer from disappointment. So keep that in mind when we're reading the story tomorrow. What you're going to do now is take out the paper that says anticipation guide, and you're going to answer the questions on your paper. Read each of the statements, then put a check mark in the box that reflects how you feel about the statement. Do you strongly disagree, disagree, agree, or strongly agree? And be ready to discuss your opinions tomorrow.